Hello and welcome to this new session in which we are going to learn yet another exciting, important and simple use or function of dplyr. So this is the third video we are doing on dplyr and in the past two videos we have been learning quite exciting and interesting uh, usages or functions of dplyr. By now I believe you have also started falling in love with this package dplyr. For me this is one of the most amazing packages because the whole day I play around with data sets and I like to manipulate or manage or you know clean data frames. So for me data uh, for data managing or data handling dplyr is just the go-to package I prefer okay. So it makes my things so simple easy and convenient it's so smooth all the functionalities are so intuitive okay so if you have the package good enough to go if you do not have it please install line number one how do you install just write install dot packages in parentheses within the double quotes dplyr comma dependencies equals true fine so this will install the package along with all the dependencies it needs to run your dplyr package then if you already have it so we'll start with line two as I, okay. I do have the package already installed. So I'll just go ahead and start with the library, okay. Any package that you install and then you are using it for the first time in the session, then you have to put your package in the library. This is the same data file we have been using. I'll paste the link in the description. You can just click, uh, uh, you can just use this link and extract the data and practice along with me going ahead so i'll import my data my data is imported just to see whether it is fine i'll run the head head gives me the top six rows of my data set fine so i get a glimpse of my data so i have these columns okay i get the six rows fine pretty good looks fine dimensions dimensions give me the number of observations and the number of columns that is number of rows and columns in my data frame so i have 51 observations and 16 columns that is 16 variables and uh, if i run this names okay it will give me the names of all the variables so names and my data set that gives me all the names so these are the names index date okay year 2002 year 2003 and so on now today's learning outcome is renaming variables. Many times within your data sets, when you import data sets, the column names could be very clumsy or they may not be very intuitive, not very easy to read. So at times you may have to change the names of your variables. Okay. So a very easy and convenient way to change the names. Okay. How to do that? Let's get going. Very simple. I'll just give my data another name because I don't want to mess around with my original data set. So I would create a new data set called my data one. Okay. So I'm making a copy of my original data with a renamed variable. Okay. Now I want to rename my index as index one. Okay. How do I do it? Just see my data equals rename. See, that's the reason I love deep lab, you know, Reason being all the functions are quite intuitive. Okay. You don't have to, you know, spend time remembering the functions. They are quite intuitive. So just I need to rename the variables. There is a function called rename. So rename a variable in which data set in my data. Okay. This is the original data. Comma. What is the name that I wish to give? Let us say index one. Now index one. This is the new name for which variable. So index one is equal to index. Fine. So originally I had a column called index. I will rename that as index one. Fine. So run. How do I run? Control enter. Hit control enter together and you run your code. Now I get this. Now how do I know whether the name has been the name of the variable has been changed? So names brackets my data one now this gives me you can see the first variable now it's index one earlier it was index fine so this is how this is a quite easy and handy way 
of renaming your variables. I hope you would like this video. You would appreciate this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Spread the good word about it. Thank you for watching.